So I'm Matt, and we're back to take a look at a Nomad harness and actually the ballistic carrier or ballistic vest part of the Nomad system. So this is again the base harness. Check out that video if you haven't seen it. We got a lot of information on that on the base harness that this is. But today we're going to talk about the ballistic plates, right? These come in in a level two vest. They come in a level three A vest, and then we've got stab plates that can go in them. So if you're in a correctional facility or you're in a high risk stab kind of situation, um, you can run different plates inside the same carrier, right? Or different. So you can kind of customize that that ballistic panel to what you need. And again, you don't have to buy two vests. You just buy the, the plate itself that goes inside the carrier, that the carrier mounts to the harness, so it gives him that added protection. If you don't need it, the slick thing is, you can remove you can remove the belly plate, right? You can take this off and run the harness by itself. The nice thing is, again, if you're running this harness every day, you run the harness system every day, everything's in the same spot. It's just the ballistic panel that's put, put underneath it. So handles are in the same spot, D-rings are in the same spot. If you need to grab the dog, everything's always in the same spot that you're used to. You didn't go out and get a giant, a giant, you know, ballistic vest that goes over top of him that you have to, everything that you grab is different. The handle's in a different spot, the D-ring is a different spot, the D-ring's not the greatest potentially. If you've looked at ballistic harnesses or ballistic vests, you know what I'm saying. Um, you know, this is built, it's built to a Ray Allen standard, it's built well. It's put together nicely, it's designed to hold up, and it's designed to be used. It's not, it's not a ballistic plate that you want to be thrown in the back of the trunk and it's going to be covered in dust and you're ever going to touch it. That was not our intent, right? And we see so many ballistic vests like that. This was meant to be, put, be able to put into use. It gives the dog full range of movement, like the harness does itself. It still gives him that protection. And the slick thing about it, if you need to change it out, all you have to do is you unclip the sides, unhook the front, drop that off, and the ballistic and the ballistics and the ballistics come right out of the harness itself. The ballistics then can be pulled off, no fighting, right? Bam, the ballistics are taken off, and the harness can be run. And then the slick thing is, again, you can run the same harness like this with just the top half of the ballistics. So you don't have to run, if you don't want to run the whole bottom plate, you can run just the top half of the ballistics. So you've got decent side protection, you've got good coverage of organs, stuff like that. It's a really neat system and it gives you that versatility that depending on the threat level, depending on where you're going, depending on what you're doing, you can kit the dog out for that mission. Um, that way you keep Sergeant Snuffy safe, you give him range of movement, you don't cut his speed way down because that's obviously the biggest thing, his biggest advantage in life, right? How fast he is, his nose, how well he can find things, and this doesn't inhibit that when you're using it. And that's one of the things we worked really hard when we looked at ballistic vests, um, was not to reduce your range of movement, not to reduce your speed, but to add that protection. The other nice thing about this is, because the ballistics are removable, the panel's removable, the carrier can be cleaned. Um, so if it gets nasty, you use it a lot, you train with it, you wanna hose it off, you can absolutely pull the ballistics out and hose it off. Or you need to update the ballistics, you don't have to buy a new carrier. You can literally put a new ballistic pack in there and bam, you're rolling again. If you just need a stab pack, you can put a stab pack in there and you don't you can pull a three alpha pack out of it. It's a really slick system as far as that goes. So you can reduce the weight if you want, you can add you can add more protection if you want to. It just gives you sort of the ultimate versatility and it all starts with the base harness. So once you have the base harness, all you're doing is adding the carrier. Um, or adding the ballistics to it. And then again, you can update those ballistics. Really loving this system. It's really a neat piece of equipment um, and just gives you a huge amount of versatility. So you can find this at rayallen.com. Um, you know, if you're bored, you're sitting in the cruiser, you got nothing to do, hit the subscribe button. You'll find out about the new stuff. Um, you can check that stuff out. Give you the ability to kind of look around, see what we're doing, check out all the cool stuff, hit the Facebook thing, the Insta face, the Snap face, the whatever, all those cool things. I don't know. But anyway, you can subscribe to all that stuff. It's somewhere here. Hit the buttons and it'll be cool. Anyway, thanks for taking the time to check it out and we'll see you next time.